What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, hello and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey. So today we are starting off this garden tour just a little different. If you guys have been on my channel, then you've seen where I gave you guys a porch refresh for the fall season. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update of that because I have quite a few new additions. So let's start there and then we will make our way around back where my vegetable garden is. All right, so we are now in the back and I'm gonna give you guys a quick little look around at everything that is happening back here. I still have a lot of seeds to sow, but everything is looking so good that's already established. So let's take a look. Alrighty, so we are gonna begin over here. If you guys have been here before, then you know I went on ahead and put in some calendula some dino kale, some collards, and basically this is going to be like my little cabbage patch. So I have some golden cross cabbages here and I do have like some radishes sown in between. And then these were supposed to be some red cabbages. I don't see where they are going to head up nicely. Um, I may have just, you know, stretched a little too long before planting those, but worst comes to worst, I can harvest the greens and obviously that is my glorious comfrey that I need to, I'm thinking about separating that out or maybe relocating it all the way together. I don't know. It just gets out of control. It's like humongous as you can see. All right, and in this bed, I have another calendula just on this corner. I still have these beautiful zinnias that have been holding on and really they like really just started exploding. So I'm leaving them there as long as I can. I have this little blank space here that will eventually be filled with spinach. Um, right now it's blank because it's still a little too warm here. I can probably sew it, but I'm afraid that it's gonna bolt depending on you know how fast it comes up. But I have this huge patch of radishes, which some of them are just a little too close, but I also have some that are beginning to root up nicely. So I'm thinking I may go in and kind of I may go in and thin this out a little bit just to give some space, but we'll see. Um, I did have just three single little kohlrabis that I had started from seed. This one here specifically is doing amazing. My arugula here is doing pretty good. This was a little salad mix that I had. And then I also sewed in some cilantro along the border. That's just really starting to come up. My marvel of four seasons, you guys look how beautiful that lettuce is. I can actually begin to harvest that. I just haven't, I don't know why. Um, and this was the black seeded Simpson. The other two plants that I had actually started going to seed. So I just pinched the top off. I'll see if it comes back. If it doesn't, I'm going to be starting some backups here pretty soon. So I will have that throughout, you know, the rest of the fall season. And then my two sorrel patches are doing amazing. And of course, the sage is busting y'all. And this right here is bee balm. It has some powdery mildew on it. So, I mean, I think it'll bounce back. It'll die back and come back stronger than ever. At least I hope. So, I really like the way it looks on this obelisk, though. 
I just feel like this area is just like a little too crowded, which is why it has all this powdery mildew, but I think it'll be all right. But I love this corner of my garden with the lavender and the sage. Just busting, baby. All right, and in this bed here, still have my cucamelon tower. This guy has been producing so many cucamelons, you guys. I have been pulling these off by the handfuls. And I'm just surprised at like how healthy this plant is. Like obviously it's kind of dying. Oh. Obviously it's starting to die back slowly but surely as the temperature is dropping. But I always find that the cucamelons like at the ass end of the season just start to explode. So that's something to appreciate. Um, then here we have our cauliflower. I had three plants. This one was like kind of lost in the sauce here. So obviously that guy may not do anything, but then the rest of these are broccolis. Again, the two on the ends, not really doing a whole lot, but these guys are really doing nicely. And the variety was artwork. So I'm hopeful that I will have some broccoli to munch on this fall. Y'all. These were like some of my first plantings of the season, this Swiss chard, and it is holding up nicely. I don't harvest a whole lot of this because honestly, like I just kind of use it like greens to put in like ramen or like, you know, to make up with eggs maybe. So it's not really, you know, something that I eat a whole lot of. I don't think that I'll dedicate this much space to it next year, but we'll see. All right, and then here I have some celery interplanted in between the Swiss chard and then these are turnips. My little carrot patch is really kind of sad. To be honest, I haven't been watering this bed just a whole lot, so I could probably do better. And it's somewhat up underneath a tree. Hold on, let me, let me show you guys. So if you see, I have a lot of trees like lining the back of my property. So this bed specifically is like the most shaded. So it doesn't get as much rainfall on it, nor does it get a whole lot of sun either. So I think between those two things, that's why my, my carrots are, that's why my carrots are just a little sad, but everything else is still doing fairly good. All right, and as for this bed here, this is where I plan to put in all of my garlic. So right now I have a lot of garlic and I'll actually share that with you guys today, but I'm trying to come up with a layout as to how I can put in all of my garlic in here, but then also keep enough space for some spring cabbages, I'm thinking, I may want to put them along this outer edge here and then just make everything in the middle the garlic and then leave some space along the outer edge here so this trellis will be able to, you know, be utilized come the spring. So let's go on ahead and go over my garlic varieties. Let's take a hop up on the deck. All right, you guys, so where I am here in zone 6A, Central Ohio, around the time that I do my garlic is typically, they say, between Halloween and Thanksgiving. Um, last year, I planted a lot earlier and I found that the greens popped up really, really quick in the garlic. So I'm really trying to stretch it out that and also because it is still really hot here so i don't want to get too much of a head start on my garlic um, because i want them to grow to be really really nice size bulbs this past season when i pulled everything up i got nothing bigger than like i don't even know i don't even have an example because the seed garlic that i got is humongous and that's what i'm hoping for for next year so let's just go over the varieties that i picked up like I said, I bought way too much garlic. Like I wasn't even in my right frame of mind when I was buying all this garlic. I was like, oh yeah, I'll get some of this. I'll get some of that. What had happened was, so let's, yeah. 
I actually ordered this bigger sack here from Fruition Seeds with another order that I made a while back, like when I was first planning the fall garden. And I completely forgot that I ordered these. So that's how I have so much because I was like, all right, I, I don't have any garlic. Let me get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And so totally forgot about this. But this is again from Fruition Seeds. Let me bust this open so I can show you guys the seed packet because that's something that I really appreciated about this company. This is where most of the garlic came from. Um, but they actually had a packet with all of the information on there. So this is something that I can keep for good filing. Um, actually, this is the same. So I'll just use this guy. So this is the Italian Hill Giant Ivory. And on the back, it says a porcelain grown in finger leg. Da, 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 da. No. So, okay. So it gives you your growing instructions. It says between Halloween and Thanksgiving, plant each cove um, two to three inches deep with four to six inches apart in fertile ground and full sun mulch with leaves or straw harvest bulbs as early as mid July with fork lunch blah 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 okay so like I said I love that it has all of this information on this seed packet because I also ordered from Baker Creek and there's no instructions it just tells you what you have here and that's pretty much it so variety wise i have all of this italian hill giant ivory um i probably will end up giving some of this away we have like a local pant we have a local plant swap here in my little town that i live in so I may just take whatever I'm not able to use and take it up there to share. So that's the first variety. Also from Fruition Seeds, I picked up music, which is a fairly, you know, common variety. It does have scapes. Oh, I didn't mention. So this, I believe, is a soft neck variety. So it says it has medium heat, rich flavor, and it is an heirloom. It stores up to 12 months. And then again, you harvest this in July. And then this guy, oh no, this guy, again, music. And it says that it has scapes, which means it's a hard neck variety. Um, medium heat, easy to peel, stores up to six months, harvest bulbs following July. So that's the difference between hard and soft neck varieties is whenever you have a scape, it doesn't store as long. So that's why I definitely wanted to make sure that I was getting more soft neck varieties because I do want more of a storing garlic. That way I'm not in a rush to process it. I have all of these cloves of garlic downstairs right now that I need to process. Right now they're just like in a cool dry area where I don't have to worry about them like being exposed to too much moisture and everything like that. But I need to process them or at least half of them like for six months I'll be good to like use them fresh or whatever but I do still need to process a majority of them so again music and then lastly like I said I did order some garlic from Baker's Creek as well and this was the German extra hearty and this was just a half pound bag um, I'll show you guys the difference that I noticed. So with Baker Creek, I can't remember the the area that they're in, but I got four cloves, all nice size cloves for the most part. And yeah, especially this one. This one's really big. That's what I'm hoping to get. So that's that from Baker's Creek again. Um, I think I'll I'll be successful. All right, hey B. And then with fruition seeds, these seeds are specifically acclimated to um, the Northeast region. I'm in Ohio. So again, like I'm somewhat kind of Northern. Um, I wanna say that they are in New York. So these will be more adapted to my area, which I appreciate. And all of the cloves are really nice size. So I, I'm very confident these are humongous. Obviously this is a giant uh, variety, but I'm very confident that I'm gonna have some really nice size heads of garlic because, well, and my goal was to have that because I hate peeling little garlic. Like 
if you're a cooker, if you're a cook, you know, like it's, it's just somewhat of a pain in the butt. And I only like fresh garlic. Like I don't buy minced garlic. I like my garlic fresh. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the updates in the garden. I will definitely be keeping you guys updated once I actually plant these in ground as well as my um, spinach. I'll probably just update you guys in the next month or so just once everything is getting going to show you guys how things are doing and acclimating once it does cool down here. Because like I said, right now it's like unseasonably hot. It, it doesn't make any sense that we are still in October and we are getting like 80 degree days it's just it's really odd but I appreciate it and I'm like soaking it up as long as I can um so yeah again that is it for this video I thank you all so much for coming by here today if you enjoyed please make sure that you like this video subscribe to the channel if you enjoy and don't forget to hit the bell notification I'm watching the leaves fall you guys mm. It's so good. So I thank you guys again. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next time, peace out.